Hello, this is Rocket in here. Welcome to Rocket's podcast. And as usual, I always want to say or ask, how are you doing? And hope you are doing fantastic. So before I will start talking, I will play a little sound. There you have it. What is my podcast today? How about when we grow up or I should say when I grow up? So here's the story. Um, I had read uh, quotes by, and I have a hard time pronouncing it. It's a Friedrich von Schiller. And on his quote, he said, keep true to the dreams of the youth. What is, what is, uh, what it meant by that is that, um, never stop growing up. I should say that is my belief. Okay. Because honestly, when I was younger, and I knew this, that I knew this, that sometimes it takes a lifetime to follow our dreams. And to most or some of us, we will not be able to obtain the dream no matter what. Um, we, oh, we, we got sidetracked. And I am one of those people who, when I was younger, I told myself, when I grow up, I want to be this. But then life changed and that dream just, it faded away, you know, and yes, I did fell in love and before I knew it, I had a kid and I was not even married. That's, um, I have actually two boys from my ex-boyfriend, but that's something that I recognize after a while that it's not working the way I wanted. So I raised my two boys. And of course, I have a daughter with my ex-husband. That's a but that's a different story. Anyway, there's also that getting sidetracked because we um, I thought about work, 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 and I have to work in order to survive my kids. And I believe that can relate to you as well. And then here comes the moment of I have to save, save, save because I have kids to raise and. With all the bills, I could honestly say that I don't have enough. There's that. So we are trying, or I am trying my best to survive. And it takes a lot of work, a lot of headache, a lot of challenges. At this point though, I am, my kids are all grown up. So I don't have to worry about that situation. Although my youngest, who is 19, is still living with us and she's still finding her way around. But me and Rebel, we are um, guiding her, allowing her actually to uh, move around in life. And we're just st stepping away and watch what she's doing. And if there's any uh, thing that we she have to be reminded, of course, we will give our opinion, but everything else is up to her. So, if you think back on the dreams of your childhood, what do you want to do? Did you succeed? Did you uh, get sidetracked, but after a while you found your way around it? I would like to know that would be something. Or probably, uh, or perhaps, you know, um, you decided, oh, I'm going to walk away from these dreams and you're going to do something different. So my, my thing on, um, uh, based on my own experience is that when I had my kids, um, uh, when they were small, I stopped dreaming for myself because my focus is raising the kids, surviving them teaching them what I knew and they grew up to be a very decent kids but I look back and I can recollect the moments where there's a lot of drama there's chaos you know there's a lot of unsettledness and those are something that I go and reflect uh, reflects every now and then so when I said um, when I grow up, um, I really don't have that type of mentality anymore this time. What I would probably say is that this is what I want to do. 
and I am going to at least attempt to do it. If it takes slower or if it takes faster, it doesn't really matter. But I always believe with my mindset, I never got to grow up in my way of thinking. It refined it, it beca- became more fun, and it became more uh, cheerful. And I like it that way rather than being fixated with the thought of when I grow up. Is that makes sense? If, if it's not, uh, I would like you to send me an email and uh, see what I can uh, give as far as response. So there you have it. Oh, lastly, my advice is uh, don't let anything hold you back. It is never too late to put a dream into a motion. There you have it, and I just well take care. Bye.